So I'll explain uh, one possible reason for the piston knock or knock knock sound from the engine of Hondas. Uh, actually, more than one possible reason. First of first of all, often uh, mechanics uh, or even dealership they replace the timing belt. This is a small uh, four-cylinder engine six cylinders, four cylinders, uh, say similar thing with Honda, they make knocking sound. Often they will change the timing belt, which was on this side of this guy. The head is off right now. So uh, I'm just giving an explanation. Uh, they put new timing belt, but they don't put a new tensioner. If the tensioner was, is not new, then uh, the tensioner, especially the hydraulic tensioners, they can easily make uh, there will be some looseness and the timing will go on and off, 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 on like this. So it will cause knocking. Detonation knock sensor, which is at the, in this case, at the back of the engine. This is H22A, uh, small H22A, four cylinder engines, high compression. So this is the detonation knock sensor. And right below the oil filter is the, right there at the back, is the oil pressure sensor. So, <clears throat> one possible reason of knock is bad or lose uh, weak, I would say, weak uh, uh, timing belt tensioner. Very, uh, there is another uh, video I showed which shows this thing. Now, the other reason is it could be sometimes slight uh, knock because of the detonation knock sensor not working right or wire broken like they would often break break right there and if the wire is broken or sensor is not working right then the computer ECU fails to adjust the de detonation and uh, adjust the timing um, based on the knock so that can make aggravated knock. Many people say, it, commented in the other video that a knock sensor doesn't cause the noise. Of course not, but knock sensor fails, a bad knock sensor fails to eliminate slight knocks and uh, adjust ignition timing. Now the main uh, or big reason, worst reason actually, could be knock from connecting rods now look at here pistons are out this is not so bad there's some um, gum there but this is not good not good so i'm pretty sure these are the two that was causing the knock possibly because also these oil jets right there are clogged now this thing was not revealed by compression test because this one these three one two three cylinders gave high compression around 170 and higher this is the only one that was dead 90 psi this is, I think, uh, yeah, around 160 to 180 and only 90. So almost dead hole right here. Although this guy is not that bad. The worst one is this. I'll show you the piston. Uh, before that, I should mention that the head, the uh, valves, there's no burnt valves. But the valves looks all fine. So low compression was not because of burn valves or head casket was actually new so like installed a few thousand kilometers ago or miles ago so let's look at the piston so this is the number three piston cylinder number three now look at this scarf mark unbelievable so bad 
so bad they're all scratch this is uh, not going straight up and down it could be also because of worn out bearings so bottom bearings worn out it was not going in there's slack in the piston it could be also this uh, connecting rod sleeve right here it's worn out so ideally pistons connecting rod sleeve bottom bearing all has to be new so as the sleeves the sleeves has to be taken out these are the sleeves uh, right here this thing comes out this whole sleeve can be taken out maybe rebore and put a new sleeve in uh, I'm feeling dizzy <laughs> not a not little work and ideally head should be resurfaced at the same time uh, this this uh, should uh, eliminate the knocking sound uh, bottom crankshaft looks fine uh, crankshaft bearings look fine uh, crankshaft surface looks nice and smooth no problem the uh, bearings all these this side and the other side both should be new okay so thought just show you how this looks like and of course it causes the uh, knock many people could actually or try sand these put new bearings new sleeve and new piston rings and just the rings and use the same piston after sanding of course and sand the sleeves as well right there down there hone it or sand it whatever I mean hone it uh, many people could do that or try doing that not ideal I don't know if it's gonna last long or not but ideally after all this work I just explained how it should be changed done okay so you can tell that reason for a knocking sound is revealed this is the problem number four had the same similar not as bad but similar scuff marks all over okay not happy day take care